Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location, we have Bonbon bon starting as the Pink Protoss. 3 o'clock location, or sorry, 9 o'clock location. As the Red Zerg, we have Jojo. This is going to be a repeat of match 1. I believe Pum... Either the replay did not get uploaded, or there was a drop on Pum's side. This is best of 3 to answer Bonbon bon and Jojo's question. This is going to be on Neo Sylphid this time. And JoJo showing us a little bit more creativity and aggression in match one. Bonbon bon kind of going for more of the standard play, so I'm interested to see whether JoJo has something different. Bonbon bon just getting wrecked by Advil in the winner's match, so... And I don't know if this is played on a separate day, so it's possible. I would hope so. Kind of get that mental, the mental resources back. Game one, we saw Forge expand from Bonbon bon going for more conservative style. And actually, what I'm seeing of Bonbon bon thus far in play style, I'm expecting potentially more of that. We do see a nine pool opener here from JoJo following that pattern of characteristic aggression. And it is going to be a gateway first opener, which means Bonbon bon going to need to be on his toes as the Zelts need to get back to home base to help defend against early Zergling pressure in many instances. Kind of like the nine pool opener on this map in particular versus Protoss because with an initial drone scout you find the problem with nine pools is some on four player maps. On two player maps it gets scouted. On four player maps sometimes your Zerglings end up not going the correct direction so it's not a typical build but on a three player map you move your drone scout, you immediately find where your opponent is based on whatever your initial scout is. Because if you go to the other base, you know that, hey, you got to get back to the other location. Kind of the hat game. It's like, oh, it's not in this one. It's not in that one. So it must be in the third is what I mean by that. Six Zerglings out on the field. No Zergling speed. Pylon's taken a bit of shield damage. And are you kidding me? Jojo planning a hatchery in the natural expansion. Zerglings on the way. Forge being plopped down. Shield battery dropping as well. Probes coming off the line, and this is going to be a stream of Zerglings making their way across. Find the hole in the right-hand corner to engage the probes. Zealot getting surrounded immediately as it spawns. Shield battery up, one probe down. Shield battery will help those probes take down these Zerglings. Now attacking the hatchery, four Zerglings, two of them heavily damaged, making their way towards the main. First cannon warping in, Zerglings working a bit on that exterior. Jojo continuing to press up with more Zerglings. They gotta give him points for creativity here. Some probes taking some damage at the main. Single Zelt still working on that hatchery at the natural. Zerglings getting probe drilled and cleaned up. Looks like some additional damage happening here, but here's the thing. Bonbon bon has workers to spare. Hatchery up at the natural expansion. Cannon now online. Zealots, however, working on that. It looks like that is just going to be a wasted 300 resources, however. Taken out, it does. it is going to delay that natural for quite some time 12 probes versus eight currently zealot gonna march in and hunt down the last two zerglings without much fuss and we are once again seeing a zergling all in from jojo guess gonna be the zergling specialist overlord taking some free damage as it's making it wait like to see it though makes for exciting games bonbon bon with double worker lead Last circling being cleaned up. Looks like he wants to go for a run by. This is one pylon powering a lot. So if he can get the cannon, get the zealots. Could be good. Cannon taken down. Three zerglings remain. Probe's just going to block. Pay with their lives to keep the number of zerglings getting across to a minimum. And it looks like it is only going to be a single zergling making its way in. And zergling... One Zergling has trouble against probes. Two hatcheries being built 
in the natural expansion. Keep in mind there is that dump of 300 resources. Jojo still wanting to make a fight of it. Two Zelts now making their way out. As another two fo photon cannons warping in. Another pylon in the background as well. And right now, it doesn't look like there's going to be sufficient Zerglings to fight off the two Zealots that are making their way towards the main. Zergling with six health remaining. Wasn't able to get a scout across here. Bonbon bon can also grab the natural expansion. Creep Colony being dropped to help defend. So maybe with just some drone transfer to the natural expansion, Bonbon bon can stay in this match. Four Zerglings versus two Zealots, not the best combo. So, economic disruption on an already fairly weak economy. Zerglings mixing it up. The drones pinning this zealot into the mineral line. It looks like pretty nice defense there by Jojo. However, Bonbon bon able to get that natural expansion up and rolling. And still has two zealots out in the field. Needs to be careful, actually, with these zealots because these zerglings still might be able to get surrounds. See if Jojo can get that economy rolling. Shield battery being taken down. And a probe wandering out, I assume, just to make sure that sneaky bases were not taken. Because, I mean, if you see a guy opening up nothing but Zerglings like this, you got to, absolutely got to expect a sneaky expansion someplace. Eight Zerglings. Not going to find anything with these two cannons in the way. So Bonbon bon now with a significant lead. Zerglings might be able to find this probe. Is Bomb Bomb going to sneak an expansion of his own? I assumed this was just to go scouting. That would be a very risky play. Another probe moving out. Zerglings are going to at least find this probe. Well, having trouble taking him down, though. See if he just returns to home base. Natural expansion now up. Gas mining. Cybernetic score is there. No Stargate as of yet. Hydralisten plopping down. So Jojo potentially going to transition to a assume maybe a two hatch or two base. Three hatch, two base, Hydralisk, Zergling all in. And I just am assuming that based on his pattern of play thus far. Zergling's at least able to take out that probe. Bonbon. Yeah, pocketing a probe and initially I thought it was just a scout I'm wondering if he's just going to try to take an early third which I think would be disastrous here Citadel of Dune and Stargate morphing right now has the two Zelts to the south a lot of Zerglings grouping up midfield he does have two additional Zealots plus one weapons and he's gone double gas so needs to get a Templar Archives pretty rapidly to potentially defend Hydralsten is there Burrow being researched? Which is not... I, that was just kind of a misclick. That is not something I was expecting. And Hydralisks. Maybe to just hide the units here? Hydralisks starting to take the field. It's kind of a clever play, actually. Burrow your Zerglings and whatnot. Burrow your units. So it looks like, you know, just not a lot of defenses here. Double Evolution Chamber as well. So this is almost like the Zerg version of Gateway Man. Corsair getting some initial damage on this Overlord. The Hydals are going to be there to go ahead and defend it. Zealots pocketed nearby what I think they're presuming would be a third base or nearby a third base, potentially. And Jojo regathering with his troops. So I don't know if he finished Burrow or canceled Burrow at this stage. I think he might have canceled it. Bunch of cannons being dropped from Jojo upon seeing that attack force moving out wisely. Overlord taking a lot of shots. The Hydral's rushing up. Should be in time to defend it. Three gateways behind this. Zelt leg speed, Templar archives online as well. And it looks like High Templar are being produced rather than Dark Templar. Sorry, one Dark Templar on the field. Three Zealots marching forward, finding a Hydralisk Zergling force. Going to take their shots. Still a large enough attack force to take that out. Oh, because of that potential Dark Templar, the Zealots trying to move out, distract the Hydralisks. 
so that Overlord ends up at a position, because you can take out that Overlord, that means this Dark Templar can clean that entire Zerg army up. Overlord has been wiped out, Corsair loses its life. But that's going to allow that Dark Templar to shove that entire army back. Bon Bon now in a solid defensive position. 42 workers versus 28, no third base as of yet. Plus one weapons being upgraded, No, car there's Carapace starting for Jojo. Running off three hatcheries, a fourth hatchery being grabbed at the inside 9 o'clock location. A large number of gateways being planted behind this. So Bon Bon going to follow it up with a massive surge in troop count. Jojo finding the zealots in the bottom left hand corner. Is grabbing his expansion, so he's going to go up to four bases. However, no Overlord is in position to defend this. There's no lair as of yet, so this is going to be a dead hatchery. Looks like it's just going to get straight up attacked by Bon Bon. Zealots checking that three o'clock location. Looks like Bon Bon going to go ahead and grab his third base. Drone is at least going to be able to sneak out. Lair has been seen by that Corsair. But the Dark Templar able to get a drone on the chase from that canceled hatchery. Otherwise, almost getting picked off. Kind of want to see more, uh, more Dark Templar actually fielded by Bon Bon, considering the uh, lack of Overlord speed. 40 supply lead currently for Bon Bon. 20 of that, however, is in workers. And right now, his army is a bit scattered across the map. Does have plus one weapons. Zealots engaging Hydralisks. Units grouping up for potential Psy Storms. A little bit of a whiff right there. Jojo having pretty good army spread and it looks like actually storming his own Zealots along that left hand side and to the north. So working against himself in these unit engagements, the Zealots getting a decent surround on the Hydralists with that speed. He's going to be able to shove them back. He's going to be able to get his third base up and running. Spire just about finished. Lurker Tech. Not too far away. Double Evolution Chamber is going to be able to finish that plus one carapace in not too long. Corsair hunting. Single Dark Templar does beat Hydralis, usually at full health. Zelts charging up to create a blockade to prevent this Corsair from getting taken out. Unfortunately, getting completely cleaned up, the Dark Templar is going to stay. It's going to be a half second before Overlord Speed comes online. And that might open up additional bases from Jojo if he wants it. Looks like instead he's wandering out to go ahead and engage this Zealot army. And wipe them out. Bon Bon sitting on three bases. A lot of gateways. Has his observatory already up. Well ahead of sizable lurker counts. However, losing a lot. Kind of the unit cohesion. I'm kind of wondering where his army is. High Templar just kind of wandering out in the field getting wiped out. Not great mid-game unit control. Right now, up 30 supply. Probes transferring. Looks like they're going to be able to get out of there. A-OK. -okay. Shuttle being loaded up for some drops on the front. Plenty, well actually no, not a lot of side storm to defend what could be a front door breach. Three zealots in the bottom right hand corner hiding from the Hydalus force. Right now Jojo, despite being down supply, just seems to have more units out on the map. Finally some zealots marching out mid map. Looks like a Zergling's going to be able to confirm that that third base was taken. Dark Templar is in the corner to potentially disrupt what would be a fourth base from Jojo. And the shuttle is making its way along that left-hand edge. Quick tech switch into Mutalisk, which could be a big factor in halting this shuttle play. Zealot being dropped short to disrupt the Sunken Colony, the Psystorm not being executed. It looks like a single... 
Mutalisk able to drop there, but the High Templar dropping short, able to get at least one Psy Storm and several drones pro pondering up to get in that fight as well. Lurker is moving up. However, there's six cannons in the way. Jojo thinking about trying to punch through anyway. A bunch of Zealots and High Templar looking to press over and engage. Shuttle still alive with the High Templar. A lot of economic disruption, potentially. The single mutals finally engaging that shuttle. But while that's happening, Bonbon bon losing a lot of his troops. As he doesn't have... Finally, the Observer joining the position. Some decent size storm there. But the Zealots kind of scattering and eating a lot of free Lurker fire. I think while this shuttle was getting babysat. Another size storm dropped right there. More drones being wiped out. Shuttles cleared. Zealot getting some free kills in the main. And more Zealots scattering across the map. I assume just to make sure that there aren't additional bases here. But getting favorable... Favorable fights versus these Hydralisks kind of on accident as far as troop movement goes. Looks like that Dark Templar was able to do some serious damage at the 5 o'clock location. However, not able to take that hatchery out. Zealots looking to maybe do a cleanup operation. Jojo has a lot of latent minerals, though, to produce troops to potentially defend this. The Zealots grouping up a drone wandering in so this base as long as there's group attack on that hatchery that hatchery is going to be gone a bunch of mutalists moving up they need to be careful because there is a high templar that could just size storm them out of the air so hatchery gone high templar kind of hiding in this corner it gets wiped out bonbon with a big supply lead has added a bunch of of dragoons to the attack force. However, is behind in the upper uh, in the weapons upgrade battle because of that double evolution chamber behind this. Bit of a whiff of a psi storm there, catching a little bit of his own troops, but now barreling forward a regrab of that hatchery at the five o'clock location. Actually, I'll call that the six o'clock. This is more like five o'clock. This is six seven o'clock seven o'clock. And Sunk Colony's disrupting the Dragoons as they're migrating across. Lurkers denying access between. Bonbon bon shoving in with a huge amount of troops. Great Psy Storm over the Mutalisks. Another Psy Storm really softening them up. And now he has a devastating army sitting outside the natural expansion. Jojo's going to have to do some work to repel this. And honestly, I don't think he has enough. Drones getting Psy Stormed at the natural. Sunken Colony quickly getting obliterated. Spire looks like it's going to get wiped out. So it's going to be a Spire and two hatcheries. Which means, honestly, I would expect Jojo to GG right at this stage, but still going to hold it out. Maybe because he does have a third and a fourth base. Potentially going to lose the entirety of his main. Lurker wiped out. Yeah, so Evolution Chamber is going to be gone. There's finally GG from Jojo. Taking down game one. Hope guys enjoyed it. Move on to game two momentarily.